Good afternoon and welcome to another ATG quick tip video. Today we will be demonstrating how to control the dimension of doors in relation to the adjacent wall with a global parameter. So if we take a closer look we have a hotel here and we have doors that go through this corridor into the room through the bathroom and the closet. So the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to go through and put a regular Revit dimension from the back of the door to the front face of that wall like so and i'm going to go ahead and do that for all the walls in this corridor again the back of the wall face of the door so as i'm drawing these dimensions you may notice they are somewhat all over the place. There's no standardization to this dimension. We have five and three quarters, four and nine sixteenths, one foot nine and nine sixteenths, three and a half, six and nine sixteenths, two thirteen sixteenths, and six and an eighth. So somewhat all over the board. Okay, so I'm going to grab just one of the dimensions and it doesn't matter which, it could be any of them. And when you grab a dimension, you'll notice right up here, this, this pops up, label none, and there aren't any in the project. And right next to it is this button right here that says create parameter. Opens the global parameter properties dialog where you can create a global parameter. Associate global parameters with dimensions or element properties to drive report values. Okay, so I'm going to click the button and I'll call this global parameter a door to adjacent wall. Okay, the discipline is predefined as common. The type of parameter is predefined as length. You can choose to group it under whatever you want. Dimension seems to make the most sense, so I'll just leave that put. And I'll say, okay. So when I did that, you can see the dimension itself has a little pencil beside it. And if you go up here, it has the label of door to adjacent wall. So if I click that little pencil, it shows what the value is for that parameter. So any dimension in your project that has this parameter of door to adjacent wall will be predefined as one foot nine and nine sixteenth inch. Okay, so that's probably not the dimension we want. Something like four inches is usually common with uh, doors. So I'm going to edit, hit the pencil again, and I'm just going to type in the value of uh, four inches. Okay, so you can see it automatically moved the door in relation to the wall to the established value of that global parameter, which is door to adjacent wall. So now I'm going to come back and actually select all of the dimensions of those doors in this, in this corridor. And I'm going to come back up and say, I want them to have that same global parameter of door to adjacent wall. And you can see what happened. It moved all of the doors in relation to the wall, so they're all the same now. Well, say you're all the way through the project, you're towards the end of design, and you determined you want that to be five inches instead of four. All you have to do is come in and select one, select the pencil, change it to whatever value you want, and you say, okay and you can see it moves all of them again. Now, if this is a standard in your project, you're probably not going around dimensioning all of these, which is fine. So you can come back in and I'm going to select all of them, use my filter to filter out just the dimensions. So I'll let go of the grids and views, and I'm just gonna delete them. Now, when you delete a dimension that has a parameter assigned to it, you'll get this little notification, a dimension labeled by a parameter is being deleted, but elements will still be constrained. Push unconstrained to remove or okay to leave the elements constrained. So if I say okay, all of those doors are still constrained. It just doesn't have the hard dimension that prints. Okay, you can still select the door and you can see it still pops up here and you can still edit it to whatever you want, which will in turn move not only that door, but every door in the project with that global parameter assigned to it. Now, say you have a special condition here, and this needs to be something else, okay? You can grab it, 
select that and delete it, and then it no longer has that applied to it. Okay, I'm gonna undo that real quick. Another method is to come down here in this little bar below the window and go to Reveal Constraints. And by doing that, you can see all of the constraints that are in your project, or in this view, I should say. In this case, we see all the ones that are tied to doors, and we know that because we just placed them. It looks like there were also some constraints down here with the window even before we started our portion. Okay, and from this dialog, you can do the same thing. If you don't want it anymore, you can simply delete it, which removes that parameter uh, from that door in its relation to the wall. Okay, so that concludes today's uh, ATG quick tip. I hope this was valuable to you.